So with sedation dentistry, who's the typical patient that's requesting this or asking for it? The typical patient is the anxious dental patient, the, the dental phobic. So, you know, they haven't come to the dentist and they know they need dental work, but they're so nervous and they're so upset about a bad dental experience. Do you get a lot of those? A lot, a lot, a lot. So, I mean, sedation dentistry is perfect for them. We give them a pill and we, and we calm them down and the work gets done. That so right? that's, some patients absolutely need sedation. And you also do IV sedation. We do it's IV off. sedation okay. and we do, we have an anesthesiologist. So we have, we have for any particular circumstance that you need. Okay, good. Uh, patients' medical histories are different. Sometimes some patients need certain medications and others, but we address the fact that I know that pa patients are afraid to come to the dentist, obviously. Okay. Uh, the other patient that comes in that needs sedation is a patient that needs 25 things done. They don't want to come to the office for the next six months every day. They, they got work, they got kids, whatever's going on. So we, we give them sedation. And we do all the dental work in a you couple of like hours. You do like six months worth of dentistry yeah, we do in one all right, day. All, all right there. It's done. Finished. And you say some people, it's like they don't remember? No. Really? Most don't remember. Most don't even remember. They only know how they got to the office, and they know sometime when they got home. That Is this true? I mean, like, especially with the implant cases. Somebody could come in with no teeth, get sedated, and then maybe they wake up at home, and they have teeth. Correct. And they're like, really? Yeah. And, they don't put, and, and the only reason they know they were at the dentist is they go into the mirror and they smile <laughs> and they go, oh, oh my God, look, how did this happen? So.